In the past few days, my friend had a troubling experience with his heart. He visited a nearby doctor who recommended a surprising solution, vaping as an alternative to smoking. But as the story unfolds, you'll find that this incident raises many questions about the vaping industry and its impact on health. The doctor handed my friend a piece of paper, just like a prescription, with the name of a specific store for vaping. Curiously, it turns out that the recommended store is related to the doctor. This incident got me thinking about how doctors sometimes promote specific brands over generic alternatives, much like the pharmaceutical industry. Could the vaping industry be spinning a similar web of influence? To answer this, let's journey back in time and explore the history of addictive substances. The henbane plant, initially employed for medicinal purposes and later for intoxication, can trace its roots back to ancient Greece and Egypt. Opium, with its narcotic properties, found its use as far back as 3400 BC. In regions like China and India, concrete evidence indicates the consumption of cannabis for intoxication around 1500 BC. In ancient China, both medicines and intoxicants were crafted from the ephedra plant. The consumption of alcohol and wine can be dated back to around 1700 BC. In a similar vein, the coca plant served as the basis for medicinal remedies long before the emergence of the notorious cocaine. Fast forward to the early 19th century, where we encounter Japanese scientist Akira Ogata. Ingeniously synthesized methamphetamine as a means to keep soldiers alert and enhance their performance during the First World War. It wasn't until the 1980s that crystal methamphetamine emerged as a distinct form of methamphetamine, gaining global infamy under the monikers crystal meth or ice. This potent substance proved especially alluring to younger individuals and became a popular choice for recreational drug use. These substances have weaved their way into our lives, often with devastating consequences. The history of tobacco is also intertwined with a man named James Bonsack, who commercialized machine-made cigarettes in the United States in the 1880s. In the late 19th century, James Bonsack transformed cigarette production from a mere 24,000 daily to a whopping 120,000, all thanks to machines. His innovations transformed the tobacco industry, but they also initiated a series of clever marketing tactics. Bonsack's promotions associated cigarettes with notions of masculinity, style, and fashion. Shockingly, the ads were so effective that, at one point, cigarettes were even considered remedies in medical encyclopedias up until 1906. It wasn't until the 1930s that the link between lung cancer and smoking became apparent. Despite the well-known health risks, tobacco use has continued to be a global problem, with over 8 million people dying each year due to its use. Now, as the world evolves, technology takes new directions. The rise of vaping has been a significant development in recent years. Vaping, or electronic cigarettes, emerges as a potential alternative to traditional smoking. Surprisingly, the concept of vaping isn't entirely new. Did you know that the concept of vaping dates back almost a century? From Joseph Robinson's mechanical butane ignition vaporizer to Herbert A. Gilbert's smokeless cigarette in 1963, we've come a long way. Meet Hunt Like, a Chinese pharmacist whose personal tragedy led to the invention of the e-cigarette. His father's death from lung cancer spurred him to create a safer way to quit smoking. Fast forward to 2003, when Hun Like created the first commercially available e-cigarette, aiming to provide an alternative to traditional smoking. The vaping market has boomed, with its value skyrocketing from $15 billion in 2010 to over $40 billion in 2023. In the United States, one in every 20 people now uses e-cigarettes. But is vaping truly harmless? In Australia, the government has imposed strict regulations on vaping, following their history of cracking down on tobacco use. Vaping products are now available only in pharmacies, treated like medications, due to concerns about the potential harms. Recent studies have raised alarming concerns about vaping's impact on health. Research conducted in the United States even suggests that many e-cigarette flavors can harm blood cells, cinnamon and mint flavors being particularly harmful, raising concerns about their impact on heart health. Medical experts are worried, not just about the immediate health risks, but also the long-term effects of vaping, particularly on the brain development of children and adolescents. As governments and health organizations grapple with the vaping dilemma, it's crucial to stay informed.
Just as with tobacco, vaping is attracting the attention of major companies seeking to tap into this growing market. However, fake research reports suggesting vaping's health benefits are circulating. The transition from smoking to vaping might not be as safe as it seems. Vaping has even reached countries like Pakistan, where it's becoming increasingly popular. The affordability and lack of regulations are contributing to its rapid growth. It's a silent killer that needs to be addressed. In conclusion, vaping has made an indelible mark on our world. But is it truly a safer alternative to smoking, or is it just another wolf in sheep's clothing? As you've seen, the story of vaping is complex, and its impact on health is a topic of ongoing debate. We hope you've enjoyed our journey through the history and controversies of vaping. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into today's world. Thanks for watching, and remember to stay informed and make choices that are right for your health.